This is Fallujah. The fighting finished five years ago, but it is still a lethal place, especially for newborn babies. I've come to visit the Fallujah General Hospital, which I've heard is dealing with a significant increase in serious birth defects. By some estimates, as many as 25% of infants have been born in recent months with serious abnormalities. This baby girl, Jana, was born three weeks ago. She has a neurotube defect, which means her lower limbs are not working. She may survive, but uh, some uh, have complications later on. Yes, I have a very big head. There's a, a fluid inside, and there's a defect in this uh, vertebral uh, column. Sometimes it contains uh, brain tissue. Mm. This case, uh, uh, the cyst that is protruding here is uh, ruptured. Most of them have, will have paralysis in the future of lower limbs. Doctor, how long have you been at this hospital? And in that time you have seen a big increase in the number of congenital birth defects, yes? Yes. We show a significant increase in the number of cases with uh, congenital anomaly and uh, neurotrophic defects, uh, spinal cord. Uh. Every week, Fallujah Hospital alone is now dealing with around seven cases of neurotube defects. Babies here are also being born with disturbingly high numbers of tumors and mutations that staff here had never seen before the 2003 invasion. This case delivered with um, hydrocephalus case, uh, congenital anomaly, and uh, as a neural tube defects, as let's see. Are these recent photos? These are recent? Yes, yes, it is recent. The hospital is a rare success story, a newly built facility that offers as close as possible in Iraq to best practice health care for Fallujah's children. But the hospital is simply being overrun by the desperate parents of newborn. This baby has a congenital heart problem and a neurotube defect. If she has any chance of using her lower limbs or strengthening her weakened heart, she must be treated by specialists outside of Iraq. Her parents have been trying to take her to India. Dr. Abdul Ghani, an obstetrician, browses through a chronicle of case studies she has compiled of babies born with defects during the previous three weeks. There are 37 on her makeshift register. Some are unlikely to make it. The rest will need intensive specialist care for the rest of their lives. Six finger. First time I see this. Yes. Uh, abnormal head, abnormal ears, and uh, congenital heart disease. And she had a cleft palate. Mm. No palate. Mm. The one factor that sets Fallujah apart from the rest of Iraq is that heavy munitions were used extensively here during two large battles in 2004. Whatever is maiming the babies of Fallujah, Doctors here now acknowledge they can't deal with the aftermath by themselves. As well as now asking for international help, they are now also calling for an international investigation into the causes.